here, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually going to be me behind the camera because I'm going to be showing you my updated makeup collection 2016. I recall the last one I did was actually 2014 when I was in England so it's going to be a totally different setup. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just kind of just give you an overview as you would have seen. So this is basically the main makeup area that I tend to kind of just do my makeup on. And as we turn to the left side of me, um, I actually have um, the wide six Alex drawers. Um, and there's a TV just on the top. And then if I kind of just move my camera to the other side this is one of the cor ikea corner i think it's mickey mickey um system like just like a desk system and this side is more like my little kind of stationery where i kind of work where i edit and then any extra bits and bobs so that's where all of that goes so i really want to kind of have two desks just so i can kind of one just do my makeup and then the other one's kind of focus on more work and stuff like that so that's what that side looks like so yeah i thought i'd just start off going from the left to the right and then basically starting with the drawers going into the collection and i actually do have a drawer down below which i can show you exactly what there is in there and then finish off with the office side okay guys first drawer is actually my accessory and earrings and stuff like that so that's not really makeup related so I'm not really going to go into that but starting off with my first drawer is actually my face and powders and as you can see from the overview I've got a bit of everything I've got foundations powders at the back going into more primers and then we have some highlighters concealers and little samples and stuff as well over here so if I just start from the first and on the left and kind of just kind of go through what I've got bits and bobs so I'm gonna actually pull this out a bit more Okay guys, so starting from the left hand side, we have my foundation. These are just some of my core foundations that I tend to like. I've got some new ones, stuff like that. Um, these are the Max Factor foundations. I've got some Facefinity. I've got the Miracle, New Miracle Touch foundation. I've got some, actually I've got some things that's still like brand new and wrapped. Um, but I do have a lot of backups as well. I've got the a a is it Ageless Elixir, the 2-in-1 foundation with serum. I've got two Senna Cosmetics Lasting Illusion foundations. These are actually pretty light for me, so I don't really use them. I've got some Makeup um, Revolution Ultra Face Base. My all-time HD Age Holy Grail um, foundation. This is the Makeup Forever HD. This is in the shade N123, and it's probably my favorite foundation ever. This is my second one. I do have one that's in my foundation, little... Um, little handy go which you're going to see on the other side um, then we move into this some makeup revolution the one foundation don't we really use that to be honest I wasn't a big fan but I do have I do have a, a makeup tutorial with it and it actually looked really really nice but it's very water based um, at the back here I've got some um, powders um, I've got makeup Re makeup forever no, no, I have Makeup Revolution. Where did it forever come from? A Makeup Revolution press powder. I've got like translucent light and other medium. And then I've got Max Factor loose powder, Inglot loose powder, number seven loose powder, Chanel loose powder. Um, there's Elizabeth Arden down behind here. This is a cream, um, which is a flawless finish sponge on cream. And this is in the shade Honey Beige. It's quite dark. Um, I don't know if you guys are going to see this. But it's quite dark. But it's more... I never used it. This was actually given to me by Louise. Who I used to work next to counter with. And it's really nice. And she told me she'd give it to me. Um, this is actually a Too Faced... Um, amazing face skin balancing flexible coverage foundation powder this is in honey beige do you want these are actually being discontinued and they're going to get thrown out if I remember correctly when I worked there and I just actually paid something to like charity and got it oops this is all coming out but basically it's a really nice foundation I've never actually I've, I think I've just swatched it but I never actually used it but it looks so pretty I just kind of leave it at the back because I don't really want to touch it so that's that. Um, let's see what else we've got. Well, a lot of things in here. Um, moving on, if I move this a little bit, I've got Freedom Makeup Pro Studio Strobe Cream, which is the dupe for the MAC Strobe Cream. Um, I've got a big double wear foundation. Um, this is the the Fresco. Um, this was given to me by the Estee Lauder counter lady. Um, 
who gave this to me? I'm trying to remember who gave this to me, I can't remember. When I worked next to the counters, obviously that's, they always used to give us like little things and bits and bobs. I have three face and body MAC um, foundations which are really handy for when you're on like set, found, doing freelance work and stuff like that. That's what, that's what I remember getting them for. Um, and then at the bottom here I've got loads of different primers. The Face Minty Primer. Um, this is another Too Faced Primed Poreless which I hardly really use to be honest. Um, but I need to try and kind of just use most of these things which I don't always use. Um, number seven, Beautifully Matte Primer. I've got an Elf Mineral Primer. This is a little tester of the Clinique um, Primer. Um, I've got the Catrice Primer and Fine. Another Max Factor one down there. Um, yes, I do have a lot of Max Factor stuff. Um, this is another Makeup Revolution Ultra Face Base Primer. My Little Beauty, pr I think this is, a, um, my, this is the highlighter, I can't remember. So yeah, so Complexion Enhancer, so you've got one of those there. Um, some Revlon, my favourite Freedom Concealers. These are the dupes for the MAC ones, and I do have a review on these, so I'll, I'll leave the review down below because they're really nice and creamy. I think I've actually hit pan on one of on the medium one, if I'm not mistaken. Medium and light I've hit pan on because they're just so handy to use. And then moving on to this little box here, I've just got Jerry Cosmetics In Nation um, Facial Cream. This is so gorgeous. It's the gold highlighter. Um, I've got some loads of pan sticks from Max Factor. These, I've just kept them just for the sake of it. They're all finished, to be honest. These are the Lasting um, Perfection Concealer by Collection. It's my favourite. And these are just a reminder that when I go to England, I need to pick up loads of them because I'm not going to stay another year without them because that just drove me crazy. I've got loads of CC character sticks from Max Factor. I've got every single colour. I've got the highlighter, the one to cover up spots. I've got the green one somewhere. They're all in here. Yep, the green one. And then I've got lots of different like little samples. And I can't remember if these are Estee Lauder Double Wear or number seven. I'm not 100 percent sure, but that's what they're there for. So that's that. And at the back, I've got some other things, which I can, I just kind of just do that. Um, I've got a lot of um, these are the Mac pumps. So I've taken off the Mac Studio Fix. Had the like the normal like. Um, top there but I just kind of swapped them over for that and I just put them at the back I've got a, a MAC puff here and I've got some little sachets of foundation so just kind of just put everything in there so that's the first drawer and then the second drawer is my excess bronzer blush highlighter eyes mascaras you name it it's all in here so I'm just gonna move back a little bit so you guys can see the full um, let's see if I can put it out a bit more. So that's basically the layout. Um, I have to admit, I had to really work with this because um, I didn't know how I was actually going to kind of fit everything in, but I just really wanted to have everything in one draw because I don't have many blushes and bronzers because I kind of always stick to the same ones. I'm just that kind of person. Um, so basically on the left hand side is all my blushes and any bronzers that I do have. Um, I have to be honest I don't really buy many bronzers because I always stick to the same ones because that's what I like. But I do have the really a nice Makeup Revolution Iconic Blush Bronze and Brighten. This is Golden Hot and this is actually the, a really really nice palette if I manage to open it. Give me a second because with my nails, I don't always manage to. Um, but I always like keeping certain things in boxes because they just look nicer. So if you see this, it reminded me, I did actually swatch this because it's so nice, but um, try not to glare you. But this is such a lovely little palette. I think I only have one of these. If I'm not mistaken, I think Urban Decay had something similar to these. So that's why I actually got one of those. And then if I kind of move this a bit more to the left. Um, I've got loads of Max Factor old blushes that have actually been discontinued. But they were really nice. My favourite would have had to have been this one, which is the Natural Glow, the pink one. I think that was probably one of my favourites. I have a, like a, an e.l.f. blush on the bottom. I've got some of the cream blush by Bourjois. I've got a bit of everything in here. I've got Senna Cosmetics. Um, Too Faced Cream, I've got a Topshop Cream one down below. This is a Freedom Blush, so I've got you know, a lot of different types of blushes, like Makeup Store. I've got one, I've got two Inglots. Um, blushes are more like on the corally shade. I've got the Sleek Rose Gold Blush that everyone raved, so I made sure I got it, so that's that one. 
and um, I've got loads of the, I think I've got all of the Max Factor cream, the new, the, the cream puff blush, because when they came out I actually went crazy and wanted them all. So that's why I've got every single one. I've got some of the NYX blushes, I've just got a couple of the coral ones and the pinks. This is actually um, a tester for the Pupa Milano. Um, this is the Maxi Illuminator blush which is that one. And I really like the packaging. I don't really want to swatch it because it's just so nice. This is actually one of my first, oopsie, this is probably one of my first proper collections. And this was one by the body shop and I had two actually, but one of them actually got crushed like a mad woman. Um, but this one is actually a blush and it's from, it was special edition and it's the chicken face powder in berry. And honestly, I don't think I've actually ever swatched this. It's just so gorgeous. Um, but yeah, I did have two of these, but one broke, so I'm pretty making sure that I'm not going to ever break this one, so that's just one I'm just going to keep just for, and I've had this for at least four years, which I'm, obviously it's not something that you should be using, but, you know, collectors thing, you know, we all like, we all like to collect things. I've got, um, a Vivid Big Highlighter by Makeup Revolution, this is in Golden Light, and this is amazingly gorgeous. Um, literally recommend you guys if you've never tried um, anything from Makeup Revolution, Makeup Revolution. This is really, really good. And also their bronzer in the medium, in the medium matte. Oh, my favorite. I used to love this all the, so much, and I've actually got loads of tutorials using that. And then you have the Senna Cosmetics. You'll have seen this in my old makeup toilet collection. These are the Baked Mineral Bronzer and Highlighter. This one's in Dawn. Um, I don't think I used to use this as much. I think the one I used the most, which is Sunset, this is one I used quite a bit. As you can see, I've hit pan there. Um, I've got some other things at the back, which I'm not really going to go into because I just I'll be here forever, to be honest. Um, and then I've got some cream blushes. These are from Elf. I've got some more Max Factor Cream Puff blushes. These ones are actually the Too Faced. Um, intense eyeshadows. I've got loads and loads of these because they were getting discontinued and thrown out so we kind of just gave some money to charity and we could pick whatever we wanted which was kind of nice. So I've got loads of those. I've got Freedom eyeshadows at the back. Um, let's see what else. Loads of mascaras down here. I've got pretty much a lot of different types. I've got Makeup Revolution, um, Clinique, Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced is probably one of my favourite mascaras which I need to repurchase because I'm just keeping this just to remind myself that I need to purchase this. Again, I've got Max Factor, more Max Factor, more Max Factor, pretty much loads of Max Factor there. Um, this is just a pretty much a pile of different things I don't really use, which I need to kind of either give away or some things I don't really like keeping stuff that I don't use. Um, I've got loads of different eyeshadows here as well, not many that I use, again, but I just don't know where else to put them and that's just basically where they, I've just kind of housed them. Um, over to this side of the drawer, I've got loads of different eyeshadows, um, Carlet, May Maybelline Color Tattoo um, pots, I've got loads of different colours of these. Um, Senna Cosmetics eyeshadows are really, really lovely. I remember I got sent these a while back and they're really nice. Um, next shadows, I've got some Max Factor. These are the Smoky Eye Drama Kit. This is in Lavish Onyx. Really lovely. These are really, really nice. I've actually got two more. Make sure that's in focus somehow. There we go. So they're really nice colors and shades. So that's that one. I've got some other um, Max Factor cream pots. These are the excess eyeshadow creams, if I'm not mistaken. And then I've got mascaras over here. <laughs> loads, if you can see, there's loads of duplicates. Uh, like something similar. These are the Clumpify, Clumpify extension. These are Max Factor glam extensions. Um, that one is the Masterpiece Force Lash Effect Original Force Effect Lash Effect Fusion. There's so many, you can, and then I've got loads of different like minis at the back. So if I try and zoom, you'll be able to see this. And then I've got some eyeshadows at the back on the side. I think this is the next one High Impact Brows. This was a really nice like brow palette. And then I've got just loads of like different things at the back that I couldn't fit anywhere else. So I've got, let's see, I've got um, Eye Makeup Revolution Focus and Fix Eyebrow. Um, let's see what else. There's a NYX purple 
smoky kit. I've got the pixie palette and I've got some 17 stuff at the back as well. So I just kind of just house everything in one little drawer because I just feel it's better that way than rather than having so many different drawers filled with stuff. So that's that one there. So we're going to close this one and move into the next one, which is obviously the lips. Lips and I've got some nails actually. So that's what it looks like. Um, I don't really have all my lips over here because I've got another lip section of elsewhere. So it might be, it might look a little bit small compared to other people, but this is just basically my everyday lip stuff. If I don't really want to wear MAC, if I don't really want to wear any liquid lips, this is where I'd go to. So this is just a housing pretty much any basic lipsticks. So I've got a range of Max Factor, I've got New Look, Fairy M, L'Oreal, um, a bit of everything Poopa. Um, I've got NYX up here as well. Um, these are all the NYX butter ones. Got body shop when I used to work as a body shop center. Got pretty much a bit of everything to be honest. And then there's some Rimmel ones here. I've got the Rimmel the One lipsticks here, which I did review back in Vlogmas last year in December. I've got some Max Factor glosses here, Elf lip stains, Flormar, which are here. What's this one? This one is. Oh, I think this is a Senna Cosmetics one. And I've got some different things, more NYX, more Max Factor, obviously when you work for Max Factor you have a lot of, lots of testers and stuff. Um, Senna Cosmetics lip glosses at the bottom, these are the Ap Apocalypse Dremel Apocalypse, um, which they had given to us that we could just kind of pay for, so I've got loads of different ones of those. Um, when I used to work for, Ma from, for Max Factor in England, so they're very nice and, and very ge generous and they always gave us like all these like little goodie bags that we could choose from and just give something for charity. Um, Got some lip glosses here from Max Factor, um, Freedom. These are the Pro Melts. Um, I've got some more here. Uh, the Max Factor. These are the Color Elixir Diet Pens. I've got loads of those. Um, I've got some Primer Liquid Lip Fix, which I actually never tried. I've had them since last year, and I haven't actually pr pretty much tried them yet. I know, I know, I know. Um, the I Love Makeup Lip Lava, amazing, amazing, amazing. These were a big hit, I remember, a couple of years ago. I've got some old lip finities, which actually came like free with something, if I don't remember, if I remember correctly. And then you have, I have just a whole range of different nail polish at the back. I don't really use nail polishes since I do my nails now, but I just kind of, I really like leaving a couple. I gave a lot to my sister, but I've got a pretty much a, just a couple of things. I've got some Max Factor, Estee Lauder, Essie. Just got a little bit of, just to say I've got a little bit. I don't want to really have a big collection, but you know, it's nice to have a little bit of collection. The next one is pretty much um, <laughs> the extravagant sample skincare range, bits and bobs, lashes. If I had to go through this jaw, I'd be here forever, to be honest. But I'm just going to go swiftly through it. I've got some whitening lightning, um, whitening pens. I've got the actual kit at the back here. I've got some samples from the body shop. Um, over here, I've got loads of Clinique and Estee Lauder little samples. Um, I've got some Clinique um, take the day off, so I've got some makeup removers, some um, Estee Lauder. This this is really nice day wear. Day wear is really nice. And I've got loads of Cheryl Eyelor lashes because they were on like 50p each, and I just remember I remember just grabbing each and every one, and, and just grabbed got them all. And then we go into like other stuff here. There's like um, hand food, so that's hand like hand cream. I've got some different like makeup removers and just all sorts, um, little cotton pads, cotton wool, um, makeup wipes here, I've got some lip applicators, and then down here I've got some magic ones. I've got pretty much a bit of everything in here and just kind of just houses everything and it's very easy to know where everything is to be honest, so I just kind of just leave everything in here. I don't really want to know why there's the Freedom Professional Fixing Spray in here, but I'll leave that there and just remember to take that out because I really don't know why that that's be doing that because that's not really supposed to be there so that's that one and then if we move into pretty much the proper last straw this is basically where I house any excess palettes which just really don't fit anywhere else and so I've got some even some Inglot 
um, eyeshadows which I really want to put in a palette but I really want to get another um, flexi palette so that's why they're there and I just got a range of um, perfumes which I don't I use but I just kind of just stick to my normal like Chloe and you know I've got some Estee Lauder and stuff so I, I and YSL so these are just like the more fragrance that are like summery and a bit of everything we've got the Nicki Minaj which was sent to me and which was really nice I remember like, when that was sent to me it was, really, it was very very like probably one of my first proper like fragrance reviews so I remember I was really happy with that I've got some Valentino Mark Jacobs Daisy um, I've got some Body Shop Chanel which actually got a bit ripped there I've got the Gucci this is the premiere I've got an Inglot fragrance um, I think this was a heart fragrance ones Modern Muse this one is a Dolce & Gabbana at the bottom which was a gift um, strawberry fragrance mist by body shop I've got if I think that is is that YSL I'm not actually hunting sure yeah that's YSL as well so I've got pretty much a bit of everything I've got really old Chanel um, number five at the back which is over there which um, was a little gift that was very, very old, but I want to keep it just for the same. I'll never use it, but I want to keep it. It's like one of the very old number fives. Um, so that's basically the makeup collection over here. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can show you from the other drawers apart from, if you really want to see one, I'll actually show you one that's really, really messy. Um, that's just basically just some items that are brand new and I'm, I'm either thinking of actually doing giveaways with them or maybe something like that I'm just kind of just keeping them there just for the sake of it so now let's move into the main makeup area and go from there so on the top of my vanity you can call it I've got my makeup brushes I've got a bit of everything and sorry they're a bit messy I just haven't actually washed them yet that's today's job and then moving to the side of them I've got Gerard Cosmetics and some MAC lipsticks with a bit of Estee, um, is it Estee Lauder? No, I think it's Elizabeth Arden at the back. So I've got a bit of everything in here. I've got mainly all my limited edition MAC lipsticks in this pot here. Um, I've got the Riri Rihanna, I've got um, the Liberty of London, Hello Kitty, um, Cruella de Vil, and then I've got loads of the Viva Glam on this one. Um, I always try and burn a candle, to be honest with you, and today I'm burning the Marshmallow Fireside by Bath & Body Box is probably one of my favourites from them um, and it just smells amazing so that's what's burning at the moment and then moving over to a couple more MAC obviously lipsticks this is all full honestly I've just gone a bit crazy with my MAC lipsticks and I actually have some new ones here um, the, recent ones that, the recent ones I picked up were Gash um, there was the Nicki Minaj um, not the Nicki Minaj, it was the um, Ariana Grande number two, which I actually recently bought. And then I've got, I move into the next side here, and these are the Anthropology Monogram Cups. Um, the gold was a limited edition, I think it was two years ago for Christmas, and these were the normal ones. I first got the normal one, the normal S. And then I remember going in Christmas and they had all finished from the, I wanted like the S&P for Steffi Polisevich but they didn't have. They only had the Q, the U, the I and just like random letters that obviously I had no idea what to use and buy them for and I really wanted to buy one. And someone, I remember someone mentioned like why don't you get the Q for Queen Steffi just like just for the just for the fun of it and I actually really like the idea so it has all my lip liners in here I've got a range of lip liners, Gerard Cosmetics, Inglot, MAC I've got pretty much everything you can think of in this little um, the Q and then in the S I've got all my like eyeliners so I've got ranges from NYX, Inglot, Max Factor Pretty much everything you can think of is all in so there. So to the cubby on the left hand side, the first one actually houses just just some skincare products and some products like setting sprays and stuff that I tend to use more on a day to day basis that I find that easy to grab from here. Um, obviously I need my sleigh all day. Jerry Cometics setting spray, I love them. And I've loved been obviously getting to tell the peach one is nearly down. But this is the new one which is the cucumber which I love. Drops of Youth um, face cream which I I've been loving it actually nearly finished it so I'm really really sad because I need to buy another one um, MAC brush cleanse I've got Lizzo clean cleanse and polish um, at the back I've got um, Bioderma um, Sensibio I've got the um, Style Pro makeup brush cleanser which I use for the Style Pro um, I've got so much stuff behind here 
um, got the Estee Lauder Gentle Eye Makeup Remover, um, the Estee Lauder, this is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream but in the Christmas edition, got pretty much a bit of everything in here. And then we just move into the one at the bottom, so let's go down one ladder. So the next shelf down is actually where I store my found every day my foundations where I kind of just kind of dip into this and just choose a foundation for the day. Um, on the side I've got my beauty blenders, so I've got Nanshi and Inglots and stuff like that. At the back I've got a body butter, this is the coconut one which is my go-to, so I like having that there if I want to kind of just moisturise my skin whilst I'm getting ready. Um, I've got my the new Max Factor Primer, the Smooth Miracle, Ben Nye um, Banana Powder which is literally nearly gone so I'm kind of a bit sad about that. I put that upside down so it's just easier for me to get to. Um, Max Factor Miracle Touch um, Serum, the Elixir Serum. I've got the Studio Fix Foundation. I've got a couple here. I've got the ones that with the pump now. So I've got the NC15, NC30. I think that's the 45 or the 55. I've got a Flormar one. This is the Perfect Coverage Foundation. I've got this number seven at the back. Um, I've got the Skin Luminizer as well by Max Factor. My Makeup Forever HD Foundation, the MAC Studio Sculpts. So I've got a bit of everything, and then I have the Max Factor Face Mini D Compact in Golden. So I do have a couple there. Um, all I have here on the side are some. This is a palette. This is from Estee Lauder. It was from a Christmas um, little bag, and I just kind of just keep it there because I don't know where else to put it, to be honest. Um, but that's just staying there for now until I find a little home for it. So that's that. And I have a lip monthly bag on the side. And then at the bottom here is where I house my um, eyeshadow palettes and any palettes that I th that could really fit in here to be honest um, because I really want to start using palettes more and I was just getting neglecting them being in my my um, Alex drawers so I wanted to put them out here so I can actually go and like use them more I've got loads of makeup, Re makeup revolution palettes I've got the radiance highlighters um, I've got some concealer palettes the pro iconic pro one and two eyeshadow palettes I've got the Kat Von D stage why did I say stage? It's shadow and light. <laughs> shadow and light eyeshadow palette. I've got a Riru Yana one here. I've got a La Masca one which I got from Vicky which is a really nice present from her. I've got a Sleek, um, Urban Decay Gwen Stefani, another Makeup Revolution. I've got a MAC palette filled with Morphe eyeshadows. And so I've got a couple of MAC in there as well. And I've got my Inglot one at the bottom there, the Flexi palette. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Okay guys, so now we go into like the main little area as well. So on the side it's got some flowers just for decor and some like cotton balls there. I've got my mirror which is number seven. Um, I've also got this really cute um, light up um, flower vase thing which I got from um, a friend who was a wedding planner who, loved, who actually told me I could have it which is really nice. Um, I then have a little like jaw thing with just some random lip glosses and lip balms. These are the MAC Factor ones. I've got, got some old MAC um, glosses as well and then in the bottom I just got loads of different hand creams. So I kind of just housed that there. I really like having this out on show which is the kisses and makeup um, little brush from Make Forever. I just think it looks really nice and it has gold so it just always looks so nice. Um, and then on this side is the um, the Glamour Living Glamour Cube. This is the mini. Um, I just have some cacti um, on the top, which I got from, my, from Ikea. And got a really nice, like, little wedding photo of me and Ryan. Um, basically, till now, this has been set up in a way that I think I'm happy with. But I do want to arrange the top part because the top part just houses loads of new products that I'm just needing to try out and stuff, which I haven't actually tried. But it's so hard to keep on, like, going up and down to get them and stuff. So I've got a bit of everything there. I've got some Flormar, Sigma, Elemis, Max Factor, three, um, Mina and stuff like that in there, which I don't really use, but I need to try and just remember to use them more. Um, but apart from that, I thought we'd go into the other drawers. So this is basically where I house um, liquid lipsticks, um, high-end lipsticks and stuff like that. So the first drawer, as you can see, is filled with um i need to like i think i need to focus a bit more there we go 
I've got Jared Hydra Matte Lipsticks on this side. I've got some new ones which I need to film for you guys still. Jeffree Star, I actually lost my red drum. Um, is, it re is it red drum or redrum? I'm not sure. I actually managed to lose that and I was so upset. So I've been trying to use Anna Nicole more. Um, I've got two liquid lipsticks from MAC here. Um, at the back I've got two ColourPop Max Factor collection here. And then I've got loads more Lip Infinity Max Factor lips, liquid lips which have been around for yonks years and I've always been using them even at work. So they all like are all over there because I've got loads of them. Them. And in then the next drawer, I have um, some Jerry Cosmetics glosses. I've got Ted Baker glosses, Elizabeth Arden lipsticks, Jerry Cosmetic lipsticks. Um, I've got some ColourPop at the back, a lip, um, an Urban Decay and Mac lip gloss, Bobbi Brown lip gloss, and Vamplify lip gloss at the back here, which is of Mac. And this one is in the shade Anytime But No More, which is really really popular at the time. So that's that one there, and I've got some. Marilyn Monroe, the um, lipsticks by Max Factor, Matte Me, Sleek, Inglot lipsticks, just a couple of colours. And I like to make, kind of just make it like, I love the contrast of these, that's why they're and in there. And then the last drawer actually has some new stuff um, that I still need to kind of try out and test out. The new Jared, um, Jared Cosmetics Garden Party Setting Spray, these are the minis. And I've got another one there, I think this one is actually, yeah, the grapefruit one. Um, I've got some of the pigments by Ma um, by Inglot actually, I've got a couple of which I still need to kind of use more, I kind of neglect these which I kind of don't know why but yeah. Um, I've got the Bell Lash Lashes and um, this is a Maltese company, um, if you want to use my code um, you can use Steffi03 and um, if I'm going to try and see if you can zoom that, so that's the, that's the website, Bell Lash Dot net and you can use my code stefio 3 to get percentage off and um, I do have some max factor palettes here these are the masterpiece nude palettes there's three different shades so I just put them in there because they're gold and they just look lovely so that's that one. Next what I do have is this little drawer and this is the, I haven't even told you what this um, desk is. This is the uh, Mike, I think it's the Mike Ikea Mike and it has the one with the frame and this one what I tend to do is I just open it out and just kind of house some of my go-to products. So on the side here I have just some bits and bobs. I've got some MAC um, highlighting, MSFs, that soft and gentle, I've got some bronzing powders, um, obviously the stereo rose which everyone always talked about, um, Becca champagne pop, the Jaclyn Hill, um, I've got my MSF natural in medium, Gra um, Grace star powder by Jared Cosmetics, a prep and prime translucent powder, Inglot Sparkle Dust, which is amazing, number two. I've got two NARS, I've got one NARS Laguna and then one um, highlighter, which I can't remember what it's, who it's by or what the name is, to be honest. I've got Amina blush, um, I've got um, another blush by MAC. This is one of the collections, which is Mandarin. It's a modern Mandarin, yeah. So it's new, uh, one of those limited edition. I've got some normal MAC blushes, Pink Swoon and Flamingo Park and one colour pop in there. So these two sections here are basically my everyday little lifesavers every morning. So what I tend to do is I have like bits and bobs from one side. So these are more eyes and then these tend to be more primers and stuff like that. So in here I've got mascaras, I've got stuff that I'm using at the moment. So I've got the Blup the Lash Mascara by Max Factor, 2000 Carly which I love, Revlon Super and Length. I've um, got some Flora down here, Inglot um, 77 Liner, the Gel Liner. Um, this is the Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. Um, Inglot Gel, eyebrow gel, um, some tweet, um, eyelash curlers by MAC, um, fluid line dip down, do adhesive black, a bit of everything, some um, eyeliners there, the original do adhesive, colour pop, and then we go into here, there's some Max Factor foundation, pan sticks, brow bar to go by Jared Cosmetics, random lipsticks, Inglot Dura line down here, shadow insurance by Too Faced. Um, some concealers that I'm using at the moment, the Inglot um, under eye concealers are amazing, guys you need to try these out. Um, I've got a Flormar primer, eye primer, 
and then there's just some bits and bots at the back there so I just kind of just have randomly so that's here that. I just kind of house just some decorations so I've just got some flowers my old Furby um, leaves um, Bath and Body Works an owl that's a tea I think that's a warm tart tart warmer and then I just got like just a little um, how's your day little mug and then we kind of go this way and I've just got some little like um, little prints there um, Chloe, this is like an old perfume little box just kind of houses all my wax melts and tarts and stuff like that so that's all in there and then I've got all my candles all around it so I've got some Yankees and Bath and Body Works in this little section I have some new stuff um, some things I used to want to use, some things I maybe want to give away and stuff like that. So basically it's just a bit of a mix off of stuff. In the first part I've got some new gloves, um, makeup remover gloves which I love. You guys will have seen my review on this, I'll leave a link down below if you haven't. There's a Freedom palette, more gloves underneath, um, stuff like that. That's Mirror by Dolce and Gabbana. Um, this is a C. Um, little like gift for purchase from Boots I remember Batiste um, dry shampoo I've got some little bits and bobs from England and Max Washer which I actually want to do a giveaway on so I've kind of left them there because they're brand new um, in here I've got the old um, Jared Cosmetics whitening lightning flip glosses this is um, a thing something I need to review yet <laughs> I, have, I haven't done that yet this is a yes style blogger um, little box of Korean like Korean skincare makeup which I still need to do a review on um, down here I've got some Sigma stuff that I still need to review I've got loads Loads of the glove um, quick treats. So if you guys want to do like, if you guys want me to do like a giveaway to give some away, do let me know because I've got loads of them in here. Um, then, so I need to move my Mac out of the way now. Um, I've got my Mac wipes. I always buy the hundred in bulk. I always put them upside down just so the um, actual like makeup remover comes at the bottom. And then I've got the new self tanning wipes from face and bodies from coca brown so i need to try those yet so those are those and then i don't really have much makeup apart from some makeup in here which are new things which i still need to try and i've got some these are links of london press that i still need to review and then this is just some of my desk things so if you want to see what my desk looks like just got some pretty much some random things this needs to be changed <laughs> i haven't changed that yet this is just a prosecco that i got from a company here which with um the bioderma so that was in my little bag um i've got polka dots um passport thing at the back my money box coin coin thingy majigs whatever you want was it money bank was it i have no idea what it's called really i've um, got some cameras here this is where my actual canon camera goes but i didn't want to leave it empty so i kind of just put bits and bobs chloe perfume i've got some more perfumes behind here i've got the dior ysl um stuff like that i got the last um, gift for purchase from Max Factor before I left Max Factor. I wanted to make sure I had one. Never opened, just kept there. And then I've got like this letters thing with just some random books and makeup magazines in there. Um, this is just a random, I think it was Alice in Wonder themed, I think. Um, this is a rabbit, but you can actually put like um, cotton balls and stuff behind get them from the bum and this is a really nice cute mac um kids helping kids i think it was a christmas edition my friend gave me for my birthday got some random things here just some quotes and stuff like that business cards are here um makeup store this was a really nice bag that i just kept there and basically that's the end of my whole collection and desk room, desk organization, whatever you want to call it. Really hope you enjoyed my video. Give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a lovely day and I really hope you enjoyed my updated makeup collection and desk storage and stationery, whatever you want to call this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.